Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Imperator Rome. Today is going to be a quick episode because uh, unfortunately I didn't manage my time very well and we don't have a huge amount of it to actually record this episode so it's going to be a quick one. I might just try to quickly identify someone who I can initiate a war with pretty easily like these guys. Uh, if I declare war at Bella I'll get to war with a bunch of these guys and be able to uh, take them out. However I will need to let my aggressive expansion bleed down a little bit. So we'll let that happen for a bit. Now, Roma is filling up with slaves, as we talked about, but they're being really, really productive for us because we have certain things in place. We got a new leader. It's a mercantile leader. It's good. Can make a bit of extra cash out of that. We have a bunch of religious power that we're sitting on at the moment. I'm kind of tempted to fabricate here on Bella. And then get to ready to go to war. Now I've got a bunch of... Okay, these are autonomous armies, right? In this region. Yes, so where are my actual armies? We have a lot of armies to manage. I've got one over here, that's fine. I've got a couple over here. I've got one making its way down here. Alright, we got all our dudes in position. So I reckon we declare war on this guy. This guy will be called in and all of these guys will be called in too. We should be able to handle this pretty easily. Even though they are currently <clears throat> already in like their own like weird wars. Which is going to make this easier for us. We should be able to at least take this territory. Um, which will be pretty valuable because it will open us up into Contents, Constantia or whatever it's called. We also want to get rid of these tribes before they uh, they get a little bit too big. Because these tribes, man, they can uh, they can get pretty scary with the number of troops that they can... Um, the amount of troops that they can levy. I'll trade with Carthage. Now somebody was saying that it's about time I took care of Carthage. I was like, I'm in no rush to kill Carthage, dude. It's like, you can have all these provinces. That's fine. We'll take you out a little later. Don't you worry. Don't you worry one bit. Um... So I'm going to have to force through this war, unfortunately, which will give me tyranny. But the good news is we can catch a bunch of these armies off guard. And also capture a bunch of these forts over here, which should give us the right to a uh, high charisma skill. Should give us the right to demand a lot in the uh, peace. People want to buy stuff off us. That's fairly okay as far as I'm concerned. Go siege that down. Can you get over to there? You can. Forty-eight days for the siege. Easy does it. Let's go siege down the rest of the provinces. We have them on the retreat. You're ready to come help too. Can you catch these guys actually out of curiosity? Can you catch them in time? We are winning a bunch of battles. I need you to get over there too. I'll bring you up here to see if we can catch this army. We captured a few pops. Send you over this way. We've got most of this area ready to be occupied. You go join that siege. Capture this province over here. We will continue to do good work. We have one of these. Now we do have a fair amount of unrest throughout our empire. We just click the happy little unrest button. And bada bing bada boom, a lot of that unrest disappears. I do have an army over here that's like sapping uh, manpower. Is there a fort near here? Is that what is the major malfunction? At least one cohort that is not loyal to anyone. I guess you're coming back over this way. Ah, so this guy has become 
confident, which gives him extra martial skill. Yes, you may buy my goods. I'm just selling off my goods because I, I figure I can translate money into other things. And speaking of translating money into other things, um, definitely want more granaries in my capital. I'm going to throw down a few marketplaces and stuff like that. Spend a bit of that gold. Uh, let's say a couple more. Go. So we should start seeing some big benefits coming from all this. Uh, now I'm curious. Yep, yeah, you can see the uh, Roman influence starting to happen in a big, 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 big way. We're culturally assimilating a huge amount of pops. And you can see we currently have almost 60% of our population is Roman, which is really helping with the loyalty. I do think there are some tweaks that could be made to that system. Oh dear, uh, it's time to move you guys out of this province so you don't take uh, too much attrition. Why are you walking the weird way? It's because this fort is not captured yet. Seems pretty reasonable. The Etrovician Civil War ends. I feel like I get a pop-up for that like every few... <laughs> every few months. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, lightning war happening. <laughs> Looks like these guys have signed a peace deal. Let's see if we can get more of them occupied. So who are we at war with? We're at war with quite a few people. That'll be good. You go capture that last province. You head up over to here. We'll be able to piece this guy out now soon because we fully own him. The Shrine of Fortune will be good. 2,000 gold for minus one unrest. That seems pretty valuable to me. Can you catch these guys? No. Can you reinforce? the governor army unfortunately this governor has no military skill we can sue these guys for peace now it cost us a decent amount of aggressive expansion but it will make further aggressive expansion gains uh lower uh so now if we look at these provinces we need to assign a governor and assign tullus preferably someone with like a relatively low martial score and uh you're just going to be doing cultural assimilation We'll also recruit an army here. Of 10 light infantry for now, just to guard this area. We did lose this battle, it seems. No. But there is another one happening. You may buy my stuff. Oh, apparently we depopulated this province right here. We can't colonize it because the dominant culture isn't Roman. Eventually we should be able to colonize that. Um, like here, for example, the dominant culture is Roman, actually. Interesting that we can't colonize this, even though the dominant... Oh, it's because it's only nine pops. Could I move a Roman pop to Biblius and then colonize that? Ah, uh, it's not my religion. Now, it is also my dominant religion, and we can recolonize this little province. There's no point having a little hole in our country. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got some work to do in pushing this guy. So we'll send you guys over here. We'll send you to here. We'll send you to here. And you're joining that army. You don't actually need to join that army. You can tidy up some of this stuff. Can you 10 guys all meet up over here and become a unified army? Because we're having a lot of unrest in here. Without these armies suppressing the unrest. Let's combine together and then assign to the region. And now the unrest should be far from perfect, but it's a lot better.
we'll uh we'll have to do some work to handle that over time okay we took you out we've got you here keep sieging There's quite a bit of land left you are independent army you are not an independent army let's go ahead and bring you over to the front line Alrighty, nice. Yes. Okay, there's a battle happening here. That, this is going to be a pretty tough battle to win. Oh, some barbarians have raised. I don't see where they are. So I'm going to assume that they are not a problem. Can you go support that guy? You go take this out. You go take on that fort. It's a close battle. Actually, we're winning quite quite handily. We have so much discipline. We keep on pushing forward, sieging, stealing slaves, all that good stuff. How many slaves have I taken actually so far? 28. That's a pretty good amount. Oh, Rome, you're probably overburdened again. Uh, I think it might also be a good idea to see Epirus. I think Epirus is still being culturally converted. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be taken care of. And Melilla is like... Has to get rid of all of its tribesmen first. So there's a bit of work to be done in here. Could be cultural mixture of culture conversion and some other stuff. Armies are doing good work. We're sieging stuff down. Let's get the healthier army to move in this way. You go siege that. You move there. Oh, you're in a fort. All right. Acro Briga. Where is that? Acro Briga. Arco Briga is the local capital. Picked up a few slaves, which is good. Put a couple granaries in there. You head over this way. We are on the beta patch. Ooh. Aid to Arco Briga. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but it seems like they distribute a little bit more evenly compared to the other patches that I was on. You gotta take that on. You gotta make sure that's taken care of. Then you're gonna take care of this. All the way over here. Can no longer afford to play tribute. Okay. That's fine. You know, you don't have to pay tribute. I don't really know why I was alerted to that, but okay. We do have some inventions. We're about to get the aggressive expansion impact, which is really, really good. Is there anything I want to pick up in oratory ideas here before that happens? Not really. I mean, the oratory tech advances are nice. Yeah, there's nothing really in there that I want um, in particular. More slaves were taken. The garrison has succumbed. So I'm interested. This city, oh, Arco Briga, seems to be like the capital place in this region. It seems to be picking up a lot of slaves, which is cool. I like that. that that's that's a good thing, right? That it, the populations are getting distributed throughout my empire and not just only going to the <laughs> one place. <laughs> um, uh, you can't take that. Can you come back and deal with that? Can you pick up these provinces? Well, I guess they're cities, right? Oh, it's a big chunk of manpower. I guess don't mind if I do. We will. We do have enforced peace soon, but we have almost sieged down everything that matters, with the exception of Kaka, who will be a little bit harder to uh, fully siege. 
Okay, looks like they're trying to de-siege me over here. Can you go hunt them down? Looks like we caught them just the same. It must be up to like, yeah, 60 slaves. That's pretty good. Go catch that. This guy is almost ready to be pieced out. Oh. Barbarians appeared up here. You need to go take care of those. Go take care of those. That'll bring in civil war ends. All right, that's fine. Do you not want to go there? Yes, you may buy my goods. These guys are fully sieged down. I don't have um, a thingy with them yet, though. I can't sue for peace until May. This guy individually, because I'm pretty sure he has like a little piece of terrain down here for some weird reason. These guys are scary. They got 112 cohorts. Oh, what the hell? Chase these guys down. I completely ripping up my civilization value over here. I mean, these are uncivilized places anyway. I mean, I guess I could just settle these, right? Just settle them to deal with it. Get a few extra barbarian pops. There's actually a fun little bug with that. <laughs> that thing that I just did there that you can do. You can basically click the button over and over and just take everything. Like, get a bajillion barbarian pops into your city. I can't take this place, but I can take all of this and their money. And now that means I should be able to sue for peace with these guys. Take all their stuff and their money. Put them to the sword. And I take all of this guy's stuff too. Put them to the sword. Now we're taking some pretty rough penalties at this point. But I think the war is now basically over and so now we just wait let's do a lot of waiting we got a new region we got to assign a governor to we'll put you in place for now and uh, we will recruit a light army to govern lusitania and now it's just a lot of waiting. we got to wait for our aggressive expansion to drain away. And then um, we can efficiently continue to go to war. We're taking some pretty hefty penalties here. In fact, I should probably start seeing loyalty dropping in some of the newer provinces. Yeah, you can see like loyalty. There's a downward trend here. Over here, for example. But that's okay. That'll uh, As time goes by, we shall see things get better. So I'm going to assign... Well, first I'm going to recruit to you. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to give you independent operations and assign to the region. So we got a bit of unrest. That's going to get worse before it gets better. Okay, this guy really wants an office. What is he good at? He's good at nothing. Wow. He's going to start causing disruptions, though. I never clicked this button, so I'm just going to assign him to Pontifex Maximus. This is Caesar Sextius. There you go. You got your you got your job. Somebody got dysentery. That's not good. You may buy from me. You may buy from me. Why would you join these armies? Stop. I'll give you independent operations when, like, <laughs> it makes sense to. Yeah, a couple of disloyal provinces. Shouldn't be a big deal. We're so big we could handle even like a pretty major civil war at this point, I think. Hey, this guy's happy that we gave him the job. So I think... Eventually we'd like to fill out my territory.
So yeah, we just got a lot of waiting here. We gotta let it drain down below 50 again, and then we can go and do another war. Our pop count now is up to nearly 13, well, 2.5 thousand roughly, call it. Which is a pretty good amount. We're making pretty crazy amounts of money. Although our pops are really, really happy, and our military efficiency, or our research efficiency is probably super low too. Because our, our even our primary culture pops now are taking some penalties. Yeah, minus 10%. That'll drain away. Uh, Pannonian needs a governor. This guy's pretty young. Appease the gods. Sure, we'll appease the gods. Uh, I guess I could keep... While I'm at peace, I guess I could, in theory, just quickly raise like a little micro army. I think it's got to be at least five troops and then just go settling across the great plains of Vistulia and Venetia let's get these guys together accept that offer I just don't want to spend any of my power right now because I'm taking a 40% penalty so I'm going to let that all drain and then we'll do everything we need uh, when the time comes like, even this is more expensive. Military faction is now in control. That's always good. All right, let's combine these. Assign a fairly crappy general. This guy. He's not very good in many ways. And we'll just go do border forts. Wow, the guy immediately died. <laughs> uh, you. Old man. Another old man died. This was the Tribunus Plebis. We'll get someone who's pretty good in that spot. Border fort. Delete the fort. Walk here. Because um, I don't think it's efficient to... Like when we're taking this big of a military tradition cost, I think it's more efficient to spend our military points on something else. This is costing me 2,000 manpower every time I click this, these buttons, but worth it in my opinion. Hey, free, free citizens. I'll take that. I mean, even if it is like a, we're, we're paying a penalty at this, I mean, it's still fine to do. It gives us something to do while we're in, um, in peacetime. Apparently all these guys became loyal. Let's build a new light infantry to hit this guy. Apparently every time you click this button it makes a cohort loyal. It's a hidden cost right there. But hey, there's a bunch of Roman freemen over here. Uh, let's go ahead and culturally assimilate these regions. So we're kind of blobbing weirdly. That's fine. Does that mean I just need to keep recruiting light infantry to this guy? To keep this, like, colonization train going? I mean, in theory, I could just reward the veterans. But this guy's going to die. It's like 15,000. It's actually cheaper to just recruit, like, a ton of light infantry and do it this way. Oh, right. I need to get rid of that border fort. Some barbs causing a problem. Why don't you just settle? Delete the fort. Place the fort. Walk here. Delete the fort. See, Rome is kind of spreading in a very odd way. Uh, Kempsia is a regional power, so we should be able to go to war with those guys individually if we wanted to. Carthage is protecting them, so that would bring us into war with Carthage, which would mean we would want to be ready to fight over here and stuff like that. And we'd also want to be ready to fight Carthage's navy, um, which we're not. We only have a... well, actually, we have a pretty sizable navy.
I don't think I'm taking attrition on any of these guys, right? No, just you. So I don't know what kind of like supply limit situation I can do for this guy. It would be a good idea to get some fortresses here near where the enemy barb things spawn the fort right here might be a good idea in fact just generally forts over here would be probably a good move to uh slow down any shenanigans from any you know when i'm going to war with like tariska later or tarissia rather Do, 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 do. Let's create a bunch more of these guys. AE is already down to 64. It's draining nice and quick. We won't be able to put one here because there's already forts there, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? We should go get that province. Might be a good move. Looks like the uh, gap over here is closed. Looks like the pop rates have hit a point where they did that thing. I have a bunch of spare stuff here. Trade, trade root cost. That one actually scales pretty well. I'm paying extra for it, but it does pretty good jobs. Extra Freeman output. That'd be a lot of manpower. 2.5% extra manpower from Freeman. Make sure we merge these. Make a border fort. I'm actually tempted to leave that border fort where it is. Just not expand any further to the north. They're good forts, Bront. Combine these. I think I got a few more of these guys that I could. Uh... Now you gotta be. Oh, citizens. Yep, more citizens. Citizens are always nice. I mean, like, how much benefit would one of these be versus like colonizing all this land and getting to be able to reap all the benefits of having all this extra land? You know? I feel like. I feel like that's a pretty easy calculus. I mean, there is heavy infantry discipline right there. But I mean, they're going to get cheaper, right? As I get more tech. I don't know. I, this feels like a reasonable thing to do with our military power. Just colonize a bunch of this empty land that nobody wants. Can I actually settle them? No, I can't, but I can pay them off. Um, how's our unrest doing? Pretty bad. Let's do the Blessing of Fortuna. And then it's much better. Border fort there. Delete the fort. Border fort there. Delete the fort. Yes, you may buy my resources. Border fort there. Delete the fort. I think this is about as far as we're going to go. We might just fill in this little bit of an area. I think that's a reasonable amount to do. I know that a lot of Bertigian civil war ended. Okay. We just need to be constantly embroiled. Probably fill out this area and then leave it for now. Oh no. Is there a fort to here somewhere? No. I need more cohorts. I think we're going to leave it at that for now. Put a fort there. See the Roman blob is a blobby. So I guess we just let time pass now because we got to let the um, 
aggressive expansion drain. We are losing about three aggressive expansion a year, which is a pretty reasonable amount. Uh, let's see, extra favors. We're going to take the aggressive expansion impact here. Army morale recovery is actually really, really good. Where really their popularity gain is like pretty decent. It slows the, the drain rate of this down. So who could we go to war with next? Who's feeling threatened? So you should be able to handle this. job all the slaves rose up but apparently i don't get the thing that's like negotiate with the revolting slaves because like some of my slaves like wandered off somewhere and now i just never get to end that event which is always nice it's like it's a great it's a great thing roman culture the little cancerous red blobs they are spreading So what are we looking at in terms of alliances here? What about you? You are a regional power. Well then, you are big enough to where you're going to have a hard time defending yourself against my endless swarm of legions okay these are all managed armies another 10,000 horsemen for that army I said I was going to make this episode shorter but you know what I am a kind and generous king and so this is going to be a full length episode of the regular 40 ish minutes. So we want to take a, a, a advantage of the aggressive expansion impact modifier there. And take this guy out pretty quick on his own. Should be a fairly straightforward bit of battling here these guys don't have any morale okay taking them out some guy died who I don't care about I probably probably got like armies that just lack leaders everywhere but you know it's like a, that's a lot of micromanagement, my dude. When I could just ignore it and take slaves. We've already taken six. That's pretty good. I wonder where a lot of them are being sent. Probably, I think, I think it's when there's a small number of slaves that tends to go to Rome. Yeah, you can see. Um, but when you get like bigger numbers of like when you hit population centers, they tend to go like Germany. So where is Germany? It's over here. See? So, like, not all the slaves go to your capital. A lot of them do, though. Why are you taking attrition? Get out of this province. Why are you taking attrition? Get out of this province. Go there. Besiege down their fort. Let's head you up the front line. Yeah, that is pretty fucking hideous. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. They're piling in. Let's get you to retreat to a reasonable distance. Let's get these guys moving in. They do, they, they have like a reasonable number of cohorts. So like if they pile them all in, they can, you know, they can take a battle or two. But the thing is, once I have all my legions in position too, they can't. And it's usually kind of a siege race anyway. 
Go together, see if you can catch them. We got envelopments, we got heavy infantry. They got a lot of stuff though. We got to get some kills in mid. If we get some kills in mid and we can start taking advantage of our cavalry flanking range, then we're in good spot. But I don't think that's going to happen without reinforcements. So let's get more troops over here. Plus these guys are like super high tech. Which is another one of those little sillinesses. 12 versus 16. So they got like a higher base morale. My front line is holding pretty well. But uh, it's my flanks that have kind of fallen apart. Can you get in in time? No, nope. you're locked into battle too. You make your way back up. We'll take him out, don't you worry. There we go. Took us a while, but uh, that's the power of the Roman Roman army. We can take a we can take a couple punches. Before we're knocked out, you know what I mean? Take a punch here, there. Punch right back a few, few days later. Take them all out. Come on, save. Wish there was like, <laughs> I still wish there was like an auto accept trade button. Interesting. So we have taken 26 slaves in the course of this war. And this will be it. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Right, whatever. So we're going to take a pretty, pretty reasonable amount of aggressive expansion here. But we made our empire bigger. Uh, who's in charge of this? How old are you? You're actually pretty young, so I'm going to put you... I'm happy to spend the money. How much is it? It's only 21, actually, to do this. Start culturally assimilating all this land. Cultural assimilation. Cultural assimilation. Excellent. So who's next on the chopping block? I'm gonna take care. I want to take care of these tribes because these tribes can be very, very annoying when they get really big. Like this guy, he's got 140 cohorts. That's really annoying. This guy's got like 200. Like you compare the fact that I've got like 512. Like these guys have way too many cohorts. Um, and you consider how many of mine are like strewn around the place as like independent. Wait, what are you doing? Are you not an independent army? Oh, you just like a couple of my stacks just sitting around over here. All right, I, I'll figure something out to do with you guys. But yeah, there you go. You've got the weird little thing of Rome over here. Let's uh, let's put our fill in impossible terrain. Oh, you gotta click save, I guess. And look, there's our big, beautiful Rome, boys and girls. I don't know. I feel like we're making good progress. In fact. Like, we're only... We're only, like, 140 years into the game. Like, we could just keep expanding. Like, I think we're at a point now where we could just... Like, to hell with this. <laughs> I think the only thing limiting us now is oratory power. Like, for getting claims. And, like, actually declaring wars. Um, manpower isn't an issue. Gold isn't an issue. Tech isn't an issue. Like, we're ahead of time. Not, like, super ahead of time like some people are. But I'd say we're we're ahead of time enough to just like keep pumping, keep going. I'd like to I'd like to tidy up Spain, and I'd also like to tidy up over here. Um, in particular, here would be really nice to tidy up too, because this would kind of like unify all of this area. Um, I think going east is like a way bigger pain in the ass than it like than I need to address right now. Um, I'd much rather just get, like, all this territory sort of towards the integration level. Man. So many of my pops follow my culture. Oh. Sorry, it's... Fi oh, I see how these numbers work. I've been miscounting this. It's, uh... Wait, have I been miscounting this? No. Nearly 60% of the pops in my empire are Roman, which is exactly what we want. 
So what are you... Let's just do a little quick glance around here. So culturally, we've basically converted almost everything over here. There's a few random and weird pops in here from different countries and different cultures. Mostly Roman. What about you? You know, I feel bad. I, like, I feel like I could just keep doing cultural assimilation here. Do I need to keep doing governor policy in here? I think this place is like pretty well evened out. We'd end up with a slight boost to our um, research output here. If we switched away to something like acquisition of wealth or bleed them dry. I mean, honestly, bleed them dry isn't bad. Like, sure, it lowers your growth rate, but it's like one pop every X hundred years for a 30% boost in the cash this place produces. Like, I'll take that. There's no unrest here anyway. Oh, we've actually got unrest in Rome, our capital. It's because the pops are super unhappy here. I wonder which pops are the unhappy ones. Gonna guess it's the sl... Well, it's not the slaves. Who is it? Probably like random Hebrews in here. Yeah. I'm just gonna assimilate you guys so you stop whining. Well, there's more unhappy pops. Who's unhappy? Slave unrest minus 15%. Oh, it's because I got that stupid modifier that doesn't go away any... Whoa, what's this? Interesting. Huh. Apparently, I have no stance. I should have a stance. Excuse me? Wait, is that why this was draining so slowly? Hold on. Let's play 19. We'll call that the end of this one. But let me go ahead and reload this game. Because I am confused about that. I am very, very, very confused about that. Yeah, I guess I just don't have access to stances anymore. All right, well, that's kind of annoying because I was relying on that for a huge amount of my aggressive expansion decay. I guess it's just, it's just part, you know, it's, it's part and parcel of playing a newly launched game. That's gonna, it's going to have a few bugs. It's going to have a bit of weirdness. There's some things that aren't going to always work, you know what I mean? I'm okay with that. Uh, I, think, I think this Rome run is going really, really well. We've got another hundred and... Um, 100 years or so another 130 years to play out um which i think is whoa can you guys have stop having civil wars it's really weird you're making me uncomfortable but yeah for sure we got we got a little bit of work to do we can take on some of these guys i'm excited i'm excited about the possibility of taking on carthage at long last i kind of left that for a very very long time because i was like well why don't i just kill all the easy to kill guys and grow super huge and then turn around and take care of those guys amazingly deorzea is actually occupying carthage also wait why do i see id of provinces huh well i love you all very much and i'll see you next time bye bye